what people don't understand is the favor always comes with responsibility. The favor is an invitation into a new level of faith. If you are favored in any area of your life, God is trying to make you more dependent on him. My question is, will you be found faithful? When I started in this journey of pastoring, I wasn't trying to be a pastor. I was found faithful. You know where I started serving in this church? Behind the soundboard. Shout out to Paul. Can we give the sound man a little bit in the back? Got to sound it real good. The reason I shouted out the sound man, because nobody shouts out the sound man. You won't yell at him when the mic ain't right. More reverb in the monitor. Shout out Tony Mason. All I'm telling you is that your life may be closely connected to where you should be, not where you want to be. And Elisha was found. Everybody say found faithful. Okay, let me keep reading. Elijah went over to him. Elijah, EJ, went over to him and he threw his cloak across his shoulders and walked away. Do you know how gangster this is? Charles, come here real quick. Elisha is in the field doing his thing. Plow. Just plow right there. Just plow. You look good plowing, bro. He plowing. And Elijah does something that will change the trajectory of his life. But he's being faithful. He not trying to be a groupie to Elijah. He not trying to get close to the pastor. He's not trying to go eat lunch with the boss. He's not trying to make sure he likes and comments everything the people with followers have. He's just being faithful. And EJ walks by like a gangster and says, whoop. That's how quick favor can come on your life. It was no pre-warning, nothing that premeditated it. It was just one day I was doing what God told me. And favor found me. When you're faithful, favor finds you. Elisha gets a new weight on him doing an old thing. There'll be a day you wake up to go to that job and the favor will go on you and you're at that same computer you've been at every day, but there's a new oil on an old assignment. There is a new way. They're like, hold on, something, something's on me. And look what EJ, he ain't even, he ain't even stopped to see if he caught it. It says the cloak, he threw it across his shoulders and walked away. I don't got to be friends with you to have your favor. We don't got to go on vacation together to be able to carry favor. He said he walked away and look what happened. It said Elisha left his oxen standing over there and ran to Elijah. He said, hold up. First. Hold on real quick. I don't know what you just did to me. I don't know how this happenstance meeting at the baseball game is about to change my life. I don't know why me going to this version one conference is going to change the trajectory of my life. There's people in this room that went to our first conference that now work here and their lives are changed because they had an idea of crazy faith. I don't know what this means, but he says, um, First, let me go kiss my uh, pop pop and, and big mama bye. And I don't know why I'm saying this, but then I'm going to go with you. I'm going to follow this favor. And then watch what EJ says to him. He a gangster in my mind. It's just that Denzel with the broke pinky. Like he just standing there just like. Go on back. But think about what I've done to you. Go back to your past. And make sure you think about the favor I just placed on your life. 
Because if you want to stay there, stay there. But if you come back, we're stepping into a new level of living for you. And I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but after this message, God's going to tell you, go back and look at it one more time. And make sure when you come back to next week's sermon, make sure when you come back, make sure you think about what I've placed on you, the favor that's on your life. Write this down in a point. Favor is always an invitation to another level of faith. Anytime God gives you favor, he's trying to skip you into a place where you're going to be less qualified. And now you have to trust them to be out in the deep. What is the word for this year transformation? I said, what is the word for this year transformation? So when God gives you favor, you know how we be praising. Oh, God, they came in and I got favor. My credit was jacked up and I went in and I needed a new car. And the Lord just walked in our favor, favor, favor. And I walked in and I had five up and they gave me the one I needed with the things on it and the leather and the Bluetooth, God. It, what you just got invited to is a larger payment. Yes, you did. And what, what people don't understand is the favor always comes with responsibility. The favor is an invitation into a new level of faith. If you are favored in any area of your life, God is trying to make you more dependent on him. When I walked into the platform to be the lead pastor of Transformation Church, people looked at my life and was like, oh my God, he's so favored. How did he get to do that? Do you know what it was for me? It was an invitation to walk in crazy faith every single day of my life to get up and pray and say, God, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And if you don't do this, it ain't going to get done. God, I need you to show me. And what I'm saying to you is don't pray for favor if you don't want to go to another level of faith. Shut that crap up. Stop asking God to bless you with a bigger house if you don't want. Uh, let me stop. If you don't want him to bless you with more, uh, a higher paying job, which means you're going to have higher responsibilities, which means you're going to have to manage more. And the first thing you're going to have to manage is you. And you know you. <laughs> Stop praying for favor if we're not stepping to another level of faith. This is where you, just like Elijah, are going to have to step out in crazy faith. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.